Well, we all face our fair, of, uh, our fair share of uncertainty. And these days, like what's ahead for tax reform, social security, and healthcare, just to name a few. But our next guest says financial certainty in retirement, it is still possible. Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant, is here to explain. Daryl is one of the area's leading financial advisors. He hosts a weekly retirement radio show in Omaha that airs Saturday mornings on 1110 KFAB, and he helps folks in Omaha plan for retirement. Welcome back, Daryl. I heard the radio show this past week, and it was fantastic. You don't listen every week? I try to get he to does. it. Does, it yes. depends <laughs> on the kids' stuff. Set your alarm, on. and you'll <laughs> right. put you right back to sleep, it. and you'll get you'll sleep till night. <laughs> no, it's a great right. show. But when uh, we're talking about all this uncertainty in today's world, but you say there is a way to feel certain when it comes to retirement. How is well, that? you know what, there's no absolute certainty in anything is there in, right. in I mean, in life, but, but there, <clears throat> there are ways to transfer risk, as you know, we can transfer in terms of our finances, but in, when you get ready to retire, there's risk of living too long, there's risk of dying prematurely, there's all sorts of, you know, risk of markets, you know, if the markets decline, et cetera. So <clears throat> where, where it comes to your finances, um, you can transfer risk to a bank, you could transfer risk to an insurance company, you're probably gonna get a lower rate of return sure. for doing mm -hmm. so, right? Uh, but most people don't do that. Most people stay in the markets. So what do I mean by that? That means the stock, you know, stock market, bond market, real estate market, commodity, you know, mm -hmm. markets, et cetera, international markets, and that leaves their stuff at risk. Mm -hmm. Well, what steps then can we take to achieve the financial uh, certainty in retirement? Okay, so funny you should ask because I have a demonstration. Oh, I see this. We okay. love demonstrations. Well, we I had no idea too. you were going to ask we me that colors. question. We love colors. You had no idea. No. Okay, so here's the thing. Most people, for example, yesterday, have a client comes in the office and he says, you know what, as usual, this is a very common uh, conversation at my conference table. I'm not sure if my guy or gal, you know, that is do handling his finances, uh, understands what I'm trying to do here. And I have too much risk, or in his case, he had moved everything to safe harbor, so he wasn't earning anything. He was earning, you know, in the threes, mm -hmm. uh, whereas the stock market earned, has earned about 15% so far this year, okay, large, large cap domestics, yeah, sure. okay? So, but what people do is they'll come in the office and they'll say, you know what, here's my portfolio, and I'll look at them across the table, and they look like a 65-year-old, and then I'll look at them on paper, and they look like a 35 year old hmm. right in terms sure. of their risk sure. you follow me now you can measure your risk in retirement um, by doing a quick x-ray with a morning star so here's the thing when you rather than having all of your stuff in a in one big basket why wouldn't a person consider determining how much they need and when they need it and then investing accordingly so for example if we have if we know how much we're going to need uh, in the first six years, wouldn't it be reasonable to set those dollars aside, mm -hmm. all right? Sure. And just make sure that they're safe. So we're gonna use a stoplight uh, uh, analogy here. So for the first six years, that income supplement that you need for the first six years, we're gonna say stop with the risk, yeah. okay? Are we gonna have a lower rate of return? Probably, but we can't handle a decline, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. So you're not trying to grow that basket of money right. as fast. Not so much, so, so we might even exhaust that over a, over a six year period of time, but most, what we call market cycles only last about six years. And so if we do have a decline, well, we're gonna be able to weather that, why? Because our next uh, uh, pot of money, okay, in this case the jar, is the yellow is the caution. Mm -hmm. Okay, well when you go to a stoplight, Mike, what does that mean? You know, slow down. It means slow down, okay, and it's just about to turn it's red. about to turn red. Right, okay. So the, these dollars are just about to turn red. In other words, in six years, you're gonna need these dollars. So you mm -hmm. wanna have a moderate amount of risk here, okay? Then, once we determine how much we need to have in the red jar mm -hmm. and how much we need to have in the yellow jar, well, now that gives us the green light to be more aggressive with those dollars that we, do, we know we don't need for maybe 12 years. Right. And so if we'll do that, we can more effectively manage our dollars. And we, in other words, we don't want to look at ourselves as a 65-year-old. We want to look at our dollars as when do I need these dollars and then invest accordingly. So it's not about age. It's about where am I in proximity to retirement. Right. right or where where am i in proximity to needing these dollars mm -hmm. uh -huh. again what most people do are you following me what yeah. most people do is they'll throw everything in a pot and they'll either be they'll look like a 35 year old when they come in right that's or, dangerous isn't it very dangerous mm -hmm. because if this declines we've got a big problem oh, yeah. what if we found out that your portfolio could decline by 50 percent if we had a repeat of 2008, wouldn't you yeah. want to know that yeah. about yeah, your portfolio? Yeah. Well, it's very common. On the other hand, we don't want to run for cover and just put everything in safe harbor. You follow me? So we want to compartmentalize this, and then we're going to do a lot better. We're going to be able to get a really nice rate of return on these dollars, 
reasonable rate of return on these dollars would be expected, mm -hmm. lower rate of return on these dollars as they're exhausted. And, these, and then these jars will shift. When, we, when the red jar gets low, the yellow is going to move over and become the red jar. Yeah. Is this why you want to focus, uh, when you're working with a, a, a financial professional, an advisor, mm -hmm. somebody that really uh, focuses on retirement? Because you know, in some cases, they're just looking to grow your money. But when, he, when sure. you get closer to retirement, there's a whole different bunch of goals we're looking at here. No doubt. So there's a checklist of all of the things that we have a checklist of all of the things that a person probably should have in mind when they get ready to retire. This is one of them. And the first thing I would want to know if I'm getting ready to retire is what does my portfolio look like in terms of the mm -hmm. possible drawdown? How much could this thing fail? Listen, the S&P fell 50% in 789 and people listen if you're a listen or a viewer out there you may have forgotten what that felt like to watch your portfolio go from a million dollars to six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars or maybe it went from five hundred to two fifty is very very common we would not want that to happen while in retirement would we yeah. the way to safeguard against that is to do this compartmentalization okay Makes but sense. you got to do some math first yeah right well if you are nearing retirement or are already retired and you are still feeling uneasy about whether or not you have a solid financial plan in place to get you through retirement you can get a complete planning review with Daryl and his team yeah, the review is complimentary today for qualified blend viewers. And here's the number you can see right there on the screen, 402-932-2141. Again, it's 402-932-2141 to receive a complete planning review. And you got to be close or nearing retirement to qualify for this. Mm -hmm. You can also visit Daryl's website for more information, dbryantretirementstrategies.com. Yeah, I don't think people are going to forget that 2008-2009 period. That was You better time. remember because, you yeah. know, it's just a matter of time. We're way into an expansion and we must mm -hmm. eventually contract. So be careful out there and do do the math and just give us a call. We'll show you how to Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Thanks for that demo. Thanks, it puts it into perspective. It does. I mm -hmm. hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I guess